Welcome to my lecture online. So now that we've learned what the third angle theorem is, let's apply it to this particular example. So here we have two triangles. You have the triangle ABC and the triangle uh, DBC, this one right there. Okay, and now what we're trying to find is we're trying to find an angle from DBC. So in other words, we're trying to find this complete angle right there. So first what we can do is take a look at this first triangle that goes from A to B, back to C, back to A here, this triangle here, and notice we're given two of the three angles. So we can figure out the third angle. We can figure out what this angle must be equal to because we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So we can say that uh, angle C, this complete angle, or hmm, what do we call Yeah, let's just call angle C. So angle C, is equal to 180 degrees minus the other two angles, so minus 45 degrees and minus 30 degrees. So that's combined, that's minus 75 degrees, which is 75 from 180 is 105 degrees. All right, and then we can use the third angle theorem because notice we have this other angle right here, and we know that this angle is congruent to this angle, and this angle is congruent to this angle, so therefore, by default, the third angle must be equal. That means that this angle here must be equal to this angle right here, and therefore that angle is also 105 degrees. So this is 105 degrees. So that's taking use, making use of the third angle theorem. And that is how it's done.